Spiders. These eight-legged creatures inhabit every continent on Earth except Antarctica and are among one of the most successful animal lineages to ever exist. Although they're one of the most commonly feared animals on Earth, the reality is the vast majority of spiders are completely harmless to humans. But that's not the direction we're heading in today. My name is Jack, and I've spent my entire life traveling all over the globe to get up close and personal with the strangest and deadliest animals alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare to uncover and share the truth about our deadliest and most misunderstood animals. I have personally encountered some of the deadliest spiders on Earth, and I'm on a personal mission to explore more of the planet and find the most lethal of arachnids. Are these animals deserving of their reputation? Are they truly as deadly as you may believe? Let's find out. Now, spiders are some of the most feared and hated groups of animals on Earth. And it's not terribly difficult to understand why. Whether it's their fast, calculated, speedy movements, their large, hairy limbs, or perhaps even their potentially dangerous bites, spiders seem to tick an extra sensitive nerve in many people all over the world. And that is what we are really going to be diving into today, is the most dangerous spiders all over the world. Today we are going to be talking about two of the most venomous spiders on Earth, with a bit of a teaser as to the one that may dethrone them both. As you can see, I'm in some beautiful bush here in Australia, and that might key you in to the first spider we're going to take a special look at today, the Sydney funnel web spider. Now this species is a heavy bodied megalomorph, beautiful little spider native here to Eastern Australia. And it is easily the most venomous spider on the entire continent. So we're going to take a close look at everything there is to know, but really and truly one of the most deadly spiders on earth, the Sydney funnel web spider. Now, the Sydney funnel web spider is an iconic species of spider that can be found in Eastern Australia, and they are lethally venomous, to humans at least. Their special mixture of venom components is incredibly volatile to humans and primates in particular, meaning a bite from this species could easily kill a healthy adult human if left untreated. The large fangs and sizable venom glands can quickly and efficiently deliver a massive dose of venom in a defensive bite. And trust me, that is the last thing you'd want from one of these spiders. Now right here, folks, is our culprit. This is a nice little, maybe sub-adult, maybe pre-sub-adult, Sydney funnel web spider. Now at first glance, this is a fairly unassuming little dark colored spider but on closer inspection you can see that this animal very much alive take a look at that iconic threat display the thrashing the bearing of its fangs even at this size this spider could potentially deliver a deadly bite as you can see this animal is incredibly defensive and I'm going to explain why I essentially make that distinction because many people misinterpret this spider's behavior as aggression right but you saw i had to basically probe and touch this little spider right near the front of the face in order for it to throw up that threat display in order for it to feel like maybe it was under attack and that's because these animals are naturally defensive they're not going out of their way to be aggressive towards me or you or humans in general these spiders are an incredible species, and honestly, they just might be my favorite spider species on Earth. Their stout bodies, the subtle red accents of their coloration, and of course, that fantastically diabolical venom makes these spiders captivating to me, at least in a somewhat morbid way. Now, something that makes these lovely little Sydney funnel webs 
extra special is that their venom specifically targets primates. Now, there's a few hypotheses as to why this animal that has evolved on a continent that does not have any native primates, other than you could maybe say humans, um, why this animal would develop a venom so specifically targeted towards the body of primates. And there's a lot of debate, but me personally, I subscribe to the idea that perhaps these animals developed that specific primate venom in response to being eaten by humans. In many places all around the world, such as Central and South America, Asia, and perhaps even parts of Australia, large spiders like this one can be precious food resources for indigenous peoples because they're full of protein and in some places can be found in significant numbers. Really, all of these terrestrial arthropod lineages are descended from crustaceans, essentially. All of these creatures can trace their lineage back to the first arthropods to come out of the sea. And so, most of them kind of have a nice shrimpy taste about them and are chock full of tons of protein. And so perhaps through hunting stress, through perhaps selectively taking populations that weren't as dangerous to humans, we are left with the happy byproduct of a spider that potentially has one of the worst venoms known to primate kind. And that is the Sydney funnel web. Our time in Australia has come to an end, and it's time for us to head to the next continent to find our next spider. We're going to take a quick hop over the pond down to South America to take a look at arguably one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Perhaps the most venomous spider in South America, but very likely dethroned by another group of spiders. But let's take a close look at the fantastic, iconic, and incredibly toxic Brazilian wandering spider. Drop for drop, the Brazilian wandering spiders are truly one of the most venomous and deadly spiders on Earth. This, coupled with an absolutely massive range throughout Central and South America, makes these lovely arachnids one of the most dangerous spiders on the planet. Due to their nomadic nature, these spiders regularly come in contact with humans. And although some species are fairly calm when encountered, Others are quick to throw themselves into a threat display. Let's make our way deep into the jungles of Ecuador in South America and take a close look at a true Brazilian wandering spider. Oh, I got one! I got one! Oh my gosh, Kate, get over here! I got it in! I got it in! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I wish I was wearing my hat. It'd be so much easier to get my freaking flashlight to behave. Oh my gosh! I wish I was wearing my hat. It'd be so much easier to get my freaking flashlight to behave. Oh, shake down. I don't want to pinch your sweet little legs there. Oh, no way. Shake down. Oh, oh. Right here, folks. This is what we were searching for. Right here in this container is Phonutria depilata. Now, this is a true wandering spider. Very, very close cousin to Phonutria fera the true nominal Brazilian wandering spider, but this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spider. I was just so hoping that we were gonna be able to find an adult. We were starting to get discouraged. We've been out here for so long. We hadn't seen much of anything, but this little sprinkling rain, I think brought out this spectacular little creature. We got a little bit of water in there. She was just taking shelter right in between these two leaves here. I just happened to see two little legs sticking out. Wow! So I don't know about you folks, but I'm thinking I could probably handle this spider. Right? I mean, it's just one of the most toxic spiders in uh, South America. But I mean, isn't that what I came here to do? To see just how aggressive these spiders can really be? How dangerous they might be if you were to encounter one in the wild? Uh, I think so. Shall we see? Okay, girl, it's all right, no need to be afraid. You've seen it here first, folks. 
That is a wild wandering spider that I'm holding. This is not a captive animal. This is, we've, we found this right here in the jungles of Ecuador. Oh my gosh, this is, this is an amazing experience and an amazing indication on the true behavior of many of these spiders. I know so many of you have probably seen images online of the impressive threat displays of these spiders, but those only occur once these animals feel threatened. See how I'm handling her so calmly. I'm respecting her space and her autonomy. She's able to move freely. And by doing so, she does not feel threatened. She does not feel the need to defend herself against me. And so here I am, in really in no harm, holding one of the most toxic spiders on earth. I mean, where else could you see this, folks? This is truly an amazing, amazing, amazing journey you get to come along with me on. This is so spectacular, folks. That is a wandering spider on my hand. I can't get over that. I'm so excited we were able to find these. I have seen wandering spiders before in the wild, but it was before I started my YouTube channel, and I just so regretted not being able to capture the true magnificence and beauty in not only the appearance of these animals, but in their behavior as well. They're so much more complex than people think. These are not aggressive animals. At best, they're defensive when they feel that their life is in danger, when they feel threatened. And we can't ask them to do anything other than that. They're animals. They're here to survive. They're here to thrive. They're here to do their best in order to reproduce and, and sire more progeny. They're just here trying to exist the same as any other organism in this forest. And so when we have this, this sort of bad idea of these animals in our head, it benefits nobody. It doesn't benefit these creatures. It doesn't benefit this ecosystem. It doesn't benefit these forests. It doesn't benefit us. But we don't realize that these animals deserve the same amount of respect and appreciation as we afford to their much more charismatic neighbors. As you can see, this species, Phonutria depilata, is much less defensive than the Sydney funnel web we filmed back in Australia. And although this bite is extremely dangerous to humans, this spider has no interest in harming me for no reason. Despite being lethally venomous, this spider will not lash out until it feels threatened. By calmly allowing it to move freely, it felt no need to bite. This is a great example of how most spiders are purely interested in their own survival. They would much rather flee at the first sign of danger rather than stand their ground and fight. And although this was a potentially deadly spider, it was not a dangerous one, to me at least. And we're gonna let her right back where we found her. Take a look at this, folks. Right onto this leaf here. It's okay, sweet love. And there she goes back to being an amazing component of this fantastic rainforest ecosystem. Although the Sydney funnel web and Brazilian wandering spiders are regularly regarded as the deadliest spiders on earth, there's one group of spiders that regularly flies under the radar in more ways than one. Their venom is highly necrotic and can quite literally melt the organs in your body from the inside out. This group is known as the six-eyed sand spiders. These gigantic cousins of the brown recluse are no joke, and they easily compete for the title of deadliest spiders on earth. Perhaps one day my adventures will lead me face to face with these camouflaged killers. Well, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed getting to learn about the most toxic spiders on earth. Their venoms each different but so unbelievably potent and dangerous. Although these animals are incredibly venomous and incredibly potentially deadly, they do not want anything to do with humans. They don't want to come near us. They don't want to waste their venom on us. They do not want to ever even see us, folks. These animals are happy left alone in their own native environment to survive and thrive. So my friends, if you're interested in seeing me go up against and find the Sicarius, the six-eyed sand spiders, let me know in the comments. I've now seen some of the most toxically venomous spiders on earth, and I have yet to see the six-eyed sand spiders in the wild. And I would love to capture those on film for you all 
if I can. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing from me in the future. But other than that, my friends, that's all the time I got for you. I've got more things to see, more stuff to film. I've got the beautiful bush of Australia to get my boots muddy in and hopefully scrounge up some more iconic, potentially deadly Australian wildlife. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope that you enjoyed getting a close look at some of our most toxic spiders on earth. And let me know if you'd like to see more of our venomous eight-legged friends. But my friends, that's all I've got for you today. So please join me next week with the next upload. But until then, please take care of yourselves. And I hope to see you there.